manner. So now solutions for this in the same stop and wait protocol itself. So for this solutions is so one definition we already seen before this that uh, for the first problem solution here is whenever you send a data packet assume that th this data packet is lost which is sended by sender and receiver here so whenever this data packet is lost he is not going to be wait infinite time he should resend this packet after a certain amount of time that certain amount of time we already discussed that is time out after time out period is over from here to here he is going to resend this data packet so assume that this time this packet is received safely to the destination so so here it will give acknowledgement so that this one is sending and receiving the packet process is continue so for the first problem whatever you faced lost data packet case you are going to provide the solution with the introducing the timeout concept in this stop and wait protocol then if you move to the second one with this timeout concept how you are going to solve this one so assume here you send it the first data packet and it is reached safely as we mentioned in the second problem and then acknowledgement is lost assume that after timeout it is going to be send the data packet and uh, it is giving the acknowledgement okay it is giving the acknowledgement for this now acknowledgement is received but here thing is this data packet if you observe this case here the first data packet whatever you send it and the this data packet both are same right because acknowledgement due to the acknowledgement lost he waited till the timeout after timeout he is going to retransmit the same packet as we mentioned here after timeout if if he didn't get the acknowledgement he is going to be retransmit the same packet so same case here also he retransmit the same packet but the receiver is assuming that these two are the different packets so this is the problem at the receiver side so to resolve this one we are introducing sequence numbers for this data packets so if you give the sequence number data packet 1 and once again you are retransmitting the same packet data packet 1 and after getting this acknowledgement you are going to give send data packet 2 sender is sending data packet 2 and he will give acknowledgement for this so now if you observe first data packet already is there in the receiver's buffer and then once again he la he get the same data packet with the same sequence number here sequence number 1 here sequence number 1 so sender receiver will assume that maybe acknowledgement is lost when he send it last time when he given reply in last time so he will ignore this data packet then he will give acknowledgement once again so that he will receive the acknowledgement then he will transmit second packet second packet is received so this way it's going to solve this last acknowledgement case by using sequence numbers for this data packets okay then solution for the third problem <coughs> in this case if you see sender and receiver so now we have the timeout concept timeout concept is there then sequence numbers for data packets so now after applying this one let us see we are going to get the solution or not or we need any extra thing to introduce in this one to solve delayed acknowledgement case 
so he is sending the data packet data packet 1 he send it and then he given acknowledgement so he given acknowledgement it is delayed okay so let it be now after timeout because sequence numbers we introduced here so that's why we are using sequence numbers timeout we introduced here so that's why we are using timeout concept here so now he is retransmitting the data packet 1 okay so he is retransmitting the data packet 1 and <coughs> he given acknowledgement so now this acknowledgement is received properly and this acknowledgement same case here data packet 1 data packet 1 data packet 1 data packet 1 because after timeout he will retransmit so he will ignore the second packet and he will give the acknowledgement for the same packet so he got the acknowledgement and he transmitted the second data packet assume that now he received the acknowledgement hope you got the what is the problem here this data packet may reach the receiver or may not suppose if it is lost in between and he got the acknowledgement this delayed acknowledgement he got now so he is assuming that this acknowledgement is for this second packet but actually this packet is sent by receiver for the first packet and the second packet is is lost in between so that's why this is the problem now so you need to introduce something to resolve this problem so let us see sender and receiver so to solve this problem we are going to introduce sequence numbers for acknowledgements also so how it is going to be solved let us see data packet 1 it is sent and it given acknowledgement assume it is delayed then after timeout it is going to be sent same packet and given acknowledgement then it is going to be sent data packet 2 now this data packet assume that last day, last in between so if you give acknowledgements for this packet ack1 and ack let us i will explain you after this so here ack2 it is giving acknowledgement 2 and here also ack2 it is giving okay now this is received and now this is ack2 is received here okay if you observe you have the number ack2 it came to know that ack2 is for the first packet ack2 is for first packet so due to these numbers it came to know that this acknowledgement is for which data packet so that it is going to be ignore this acknowledgement and then it will wait it will wait till timeout occur then it is retransmitting the data packet to if it is not getting acknowledgement for that okay so this way it's going to be solved this delayed acknowledgement case so here one thing we have to be considered in the acknowledgement uh, sequence number case see here i am sending data packet 1 data packet 1 while giving the acknowledgement I should always give acknowledgement 2 sequence number of data packet plus 1 I should mention in the acknowledgement sequence number this is because this its means is from the sender's receiver side from the receiver side its mean is I receive the data packet 1 and send me the data packet 2 this is the meaning at receiver side and then in the sender side receiver received the lost packet and he is asking this sequence number packet means whatever packet you are going to be send next in the next transmit he is expecting sequence number as 2 
for this data packet he is expecting sequence number as 2 this and this always should be same then only he is going to be consumed otherwise he will discard so if you send the data packet 3 with d3 sequence number 3 as a sequence number he is not going to be considered so that is the case here so that's why if your data packet sequence number is i in this acknowledgement you should always mention i plus 1 this is the case in entire computer network okay while giving the acknowledgements you should always give next number for the last packet sequence number okay so now if you see what is complete stop and wait protocol is stop and wait whatever we seen initially in the introduction part then with the timeout for the first problem we introduced then sequence numbers sequence numbers for the data packets then <coughs> sequence numbers for acknowledgements so this all together this is actually stop and wait protocol so this is something about stop and wait protocol in this stop and wait protocol with the basic stop and wait uh, we get uh, some problems when you went for implementation so we introduced a timeout concept sequence numbers for the data packets and the sequence numbers for acknowledgements with basic stop and wait protocol basic stop and wait so then this is all together stop and wait protocol then we will see the some numerical problems in the next video thank you for watching